Hey guys, welcome back to the Ramel HD channel. I'm back with another episode of this Manchester United career mode and this is the season 2 finale. I'd also like to say thank you for everyone that's been dropping comments, leaving likes as well, even just clicking on the video. I'd like to thank you guys for showing some support uh, during the course of this series. Also, if you're new to the channel and you enjoy career mode content, please remember to subscribe and uh, also uh, hit the notification bell as well because it'll let you know when I've uploaded. And guys, just like last season, I played the rest of the games of the season, uh, but I didn't really yeah, record it. I didn't record it in, with intentions to do like voiceovers on there, talk about the highlights. All I can say is a, a few players got a few chances, players like Lionarts, uh, he had the opportunity to play. We ended up beating Southampton 1 0. As you can see, Lionarts ended up getting a 6.5 rating. Willis played really well. Johnston got a 7.4 as well. Turner got a 6.3. I think they, they've underdone him there. I think he did well. He kept out a few shots from Southampton as well. Uh, this annoying guy, like, I just don't like this guy. I don't know why he thinks he's going to get a permanent deal. Uh, I, I would terminate his loan, but he's literally all we have. I don't want to recall another player and ruin the development of someone else. So yeah, I'm going to remain with him. So in this next game, we end up playing Watford. Uh, we did field out a rotated side again. Lee Nuts ended up starting, so did uh, Min J Ma. Uh, we also had uh, Twan Zibi coming in, Lindelof. We haven't seen them for a while. And we end up getting a draw. So we end up drawing against them. Uh, it wasn't a good performance from us. We were really sluggish on the ball. It, it just seemed like everybody just lacked sharpness. But to be fair, I did play players that haven't really had much game time during the course of the season. And uh, not only that, during towards the end of the season as well, because we had too many big games to be rotating like that. So we ended up playing against uh, West Ham United, which is the second to last match of the season. Uh, we did play a strong side, or a stronger side. Uh, obviously, we do have injuries out, so this is not the strongest that we could be. Uh, we didn't really uh, do too well during the match, but we did end up winning it. As you can see, uh, this is one of the goals we did well uh, to combine there towards the end. They also did have a, a sending off as well. Uh, Bruno played really well. He got two goals out of three attempts. So yeah, he was man of the match. And uh, as you can see here, these are the match ratings. Uh, Daniel Pedence put in a good performance. Van der Beek, Sancho and Fernandez they've been really consistent during the course of the season as well. Uh, I'd like to give a, a shout out to Willis as well. He played really well. So Paul Pop is claiming that he's back and he's ready to go. Uh, he will probably be on the bench in the final, if I'm honest with you. So with the Leeds United match, I didn't even bother playing it. I just did a quick sim and we ended up losing on the final day of the season. It is a negative result. It's the worst way to end the season by losing. But at this point, who really cares? So we clinched the title. We ended up dominating the league. It was quite, um, I would say it was quite straightforward after, after January. But we did have a few hiccups here and there. Uh, also, the, the congestion, the fixture congestion after January, it kind of hit us and took a toll on our form. So uh, Lukaku, he ended up getting golden boot. Uh, I would only say he only got it because uh, I refused to play a, a particular player. But yeah, hats off to him. Tottenham Hotspur also won the Europa League, which means they have an automatic place in the Champions League seeding next season when it comes to the group stages. Well, hats off to them. They're finally winning trophies, I guess. Uh, next, we have the ECL. Uh, Bay Leverkusen end up beating Monaco 2 0 in the final. So, yeah, this guy is going to go out on loan. Really and truly, I should have sold him and uh, maybe get some money for him. But to be honest, we don't really need the money. I'll just loan him out. It's whatever. Just get him out of the way so uh, the number 11 nice is vacant guys. for Good next season. Here. Get with the questions now. So guys, it's time. This is what you guys have been waiting for. It's the Champions League final, Manchester United versus Inter Milan. We were in the same group with them, so we played them twice already this season, and we were really successful both times. So this is the starting eleven I'm going to go with for this final. I'm going to start with David De Gea in goal. 
I have the low at right back. Varane's going to be playing next to Inacio, despite uh, Tomori being in really good form. Dano's at left back. We have Schoemeni at CDM. McTominay's going to come in at centre mid. Van der Beek's going to be uh, at the number 10 role. We have Pedenz on the right. We have Sancho on the left. And we have Bruno Fernandes up top as a false number 9. So yeah, that's a big shout. I decided to ignore both the strikers we have i don't feel like they're going to be beneficial for us on the field if anything it's going to feel like we have 10 men so yeah that's that's what i've decided i'm going to stick by it and let's go there he is himself the baller Jaden sancho the greatest of all time for the future the best in the world at the moment can you help us and guide us to another european title can david here captain us to another european title we made it to the final two years in a row and uh yeah it's not a fluke we've overcome big big losses uh we have lost 3-0 to barcelona on a big stage and made a comeback uh we've also been in situations where atletico madrid looked like they were gonna knock us out but we bounced back like true champions so we have earned our right to be in this position So the game's kicked off now. So we're shooting to the right. Inter Milan are shooting to the left at the start of this game. I have chosen a different camera to be a bit more close to the action. I mean, I may change it if I feel like myself spectating it. It doesn't look too good. It probably doesn't look too good if I'm honest with you. From the jump, I can see that. The low. Back heels it into Pedence. Moving the ball around quite well. I take a shot and it's blocked. Okay. I'm playing Fernandez at false nine. He's doing quite well so far. He's coming deep to get the ball. He is linking up play. He is making runs in behind from time to time. I can't pick him out because, yeah, obviously you can see the kind of defence that Inter Milan have at the moment. Oh, well done, Pedence. He forces a poor tackle. Who's that? Kostic. He's in, the, he's in the yellow card. He's in the booking. The referee has gotten his book out for an Inter Milan player. Look at this. Quick off his feet. I like Pedence, man. He's just a really good player. I'm going to feel really bad signing someone in his position next season. Because he's just not... He's a really good player. He's just not world class. And if you want to stay at the top, you need world class players in them kind of positions. The main guy on the right hand side has Pedence, cuts in. McTomney into Sancho. This angle is really hard to see whether I have a clear shot on goal on the left hand side. It's the only negative about this angle. There's Timo Werner. He's been, to, been in back to back finals. He was in the final last season with Chelsea. And now he's here with Inter Milan. He's doing quite well for himself. That's three finals in a row as well. If you uh, include real life. Come on, ref. Give him a yellow. Is that another yellow? Wow, that's another yellow. What is going on in the Champions League? There's uh, Darno. This guy. He's had a weird end to the season, Darno. And to be honest, Luke Shaw ain't any better. So, there's no better. There's no best of a bad situation. They're both just equally weird at the moment. So, I just got to do with what I've got here's Van der Beek oh I see the ball Sancho Jada Sancho with the opportunity oh my god I don't know how he's missed that into McTomney back into Van der Beek Bruno on the edge of the box plays it to Sancho Jada Sancho has fluffed that oh my god Handovic left a big gap on, the, on his right hand side of his goal and I thought Sancho would have just arrowed it into the bottom corner I think we should just press them. Yeah, I'm going to trigger a press. Press has been triggered, but no one's pressing. But they are still coming out of the press unscathed. Well done, Wellington Darno. Wins are throwing. <laughs> Overall, he has been a good signing, though. Let's not forget what he's done in the middle of the season. At the beginning of the season, he has played really well. I'm not going to be one of them guys that just forgets everything he's done because he's having a bad bit of form. Oh, come on, man. What? 
No, I want us to attack the middle a bit more because I don't normally play wing play. So I don't know why everybody's so wide. There's uh, Thomas Partey into Martinez. What has Varane done? How do you win the ball and leave it behind? That is the most neglectful thing I've ever seen. Unless you watch Shameless. If, you, if you've seen Shameless, then yeah. <laughs> but yeah, that is really neglectful. There's a Bruno. Plays in Van der Beek. Van der Beek takes a shot, but I didn't notice that Sancho was coming on the left of him. So we have another corner kick. That's why I kind of hate this angle. It cuts off a lot of the screen. I don't like that. So I'm going to toggle on to Varane. Ball swung in. Varane gets ahead and he scores. Oh my God. Oh my God. Varane has scored. This guy. He scores really important headers for us. We have taken the lead. Look at that leap. That was a nice cross by Sancho as well. Did the pump fake. I called P uh, Pedence short. Swung it in. Partey did a poor job marking Varane. Just to make up for the lost player. A nice ball. No, it's not. It looked like it could have been a nice ball. It's Timo. Oh, Martinez. Martinez has gone off injured. See, I, I w that happens to me a lot. I wouldn't wish this on my worst enemy. He's going to be out for seven months now. This is the knock. Varane. Barely touched him. Yeah, they need to fix the mechanics and the collisions and stuff. Because, yeah, I barely touched him. So he shouldn't be going down. What is going on with Handovic? <laughs> is this game relentless and failing at what, it, what it's meant to be doing? You're meant to be giving us a game that works. What is going on here, man? You are kidding me. There is no way this is acceptable. Oh, no, I need to... When I get the ball, I'm booting out. Because that is just... That is just cheese. That is just ridiculous, man. I can't believe that's happening. Is he, is he still in the net? Yeah, he's out of the net because I skipped. Good. Because, yeah, I can't play a final with the goalkeeper just allowing me to bang in a, an extra goal. I'm just going to keep giving it to Otavio. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, my God. How have we... Ignacio. No, there's no way, man. There is no way this makes any sense. What is this behavior? The through ball didn't even look like it was on from this angle. Ooh. 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 Fernandez. 2 1. Ooh. I don't like things like that. Oh my god. We're doing it again, man. We're doing it again. How is this even... Now I'm changing the angle. This is stupid. How is this even possible? Yeah, guys, I won't lie to you. I'm making a double change. Tomori's coming on for Varane. Bringing on Paul Pogba for McTomney. And uh, yeah, I've changed the camera because, yeah, I, I don't know what is going on with that angle, but I'm conceding some weird goals. There's no way extra time is on. And if they end up winning, I so help me God. So help me God if they end up winning this match. Because it looks like it. Because Darno's doing dumb things. Like, why would you come forward and then leave a gap in behind? Like, it's hard to forget what he's doing at the end of the season. Like, towards the end of the season. Like, it's really hard to just be like, yeah, he's had a good start to the season. Like, how, how do you play so good at the beginning of the season and start doing some weird dodgy stuff after January? Yep, it's not doing it. It's not doing it. What the actual fuck, man? I'm I'm doing the I'm doing the in swinger and this and it's not doing it. I'm fucking fed up of this game. I'm actually I need a break from this game. It just doesn't make any sense half the things that happen. Like what? So we made an extra substitution. Goncalo Ramos is on. I've taken off Van der Beek and uh, yeah, obviously Bruno is going to be playing in a number ten role. And we've got Ramos in the false nine position. I'm really pissed off. This just doesn't make any sense. How we're drawing with 10 men. Both the goals we conceded made no sense either. Like the defenders just ran out of position and just allowed them to play the ball in behind. With 10 men. Both the goals we conceded made no sense either. Like the defenders just ran out of position and just allowed them to play the ball in behind. So yeah, we just need to be deadly up front. Oh, come on. 
Where, like, where is the desire to actually get in behind? Like, this guy is a, he's a prick. I, 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 I don't want to be using bare profanity in one, all in one video. Like, I don't want to like to do it too much. But this guy is actually a prick. This guy takes so long to run as well. What is wrong with this guy? He's through on goal and he misses. Fudge sake. Because all this weird stuff happens. I don't understand how I'm drawing with two with ten men again. And then my players are playing like they, they've got cement in their boots. I don't even want to cuss Bruno out because he's at, he's he's the reason why we made it this far. Oh Bruno! Come on! Oh my god, Goncalo Ramos has scored. You're still not getting a permanent deal, mate. You, I'm, I'm skipping that. I don't want to celebrate with you. I don't like you. I, I don't like this guy. I go ultra defensive now. I can sense something dodgy. Uh, it's, it's in the pipeline. Because what's Darno doing? Guys, please watch what Darno does. 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 And we're going to penalties. Why are we going to penalties? This guy's come on and scored a hat trick. They are down to 10 men. This doesn't make any sense. It doesn't make any sense. It doesn't make any sense. None of this makes sense. Why would De Gea not do his best to prevent that from dropping back to him? He's given the, he's done it again. He's done it again. I don't understand why he's doing it again. When he makes a save, he's tapping it straight back to the flipping striker. I'm fucked off with this game. I'm fucked off with this game. We got penalties. I don't even give a toss at this point. I don't give a toss. I honestly don't give a toss. If I miss, I miss. It is what it is. I'm not even going to celebrate, man. This is just perfect. And we've got this annoying ass run up. I really should have I really should have done done the list. This guy would have been lost. I hate his run up. So look, look how long I have to keep my thumb there for. He scored. Oh guys, I'm sorry. I'm sorry if I killed the vibes in this video. It's just hard to be motivated when your players play like this. I just hate the game when it's in this state. For fuck's sake, man. Just can't believe this. I really can't believe this. Well done, De Gea. Freaking hell, Shermany. Well done. He hit that. He put his foot through it nicely. Okay. It's so a final penalty. This guy who came on and scored a hat trick. This is his chance. He scores. He keeps them in the game. So I need to score this. Who's stepping up? Jaden Sancho. <laughs> oh my God. I need to score this. This guy. If he does this. I swear. He's the best in the world. He is the best in the world let's see where to put this there we go Jaden Sancho has clinched the Champions League trophy for us this guy I had to smile this the moment I saw him step up a big grin went on my face everyone made me doom and gloom but once this guy came onto the screen oh my god look at that just tucks it away top corner uh, I mean, there's a lot to be happy about, but there's a lot to be pissed off about. We end up winning Champions League again, uh, but I don't, I just don't, I just don't respect the way we've done it. I don't like the way we've done it. So we are five-time European champions, and I've won it twice, two seasons in a row. I'm kind of happy that we've won it, but I'm really annoyed with the way we had to win it against 10 men. I was right in the end though, Martin has ended up being out for 7 months. So yeah, that is actually a glitch that they need to fix because it's quite annoying. And even look here, why is the ribbons red and green? It's meant to be red and white. And this article here is cap. So there's a lot of bugs going on here. Straight up, these articles are its just annoying. Like this is cap. Pogba didn't even, he didn't do much. All he did is score a penalty. 
He literally just came on and scored a penalty. That's the only thing that he contributed to. So guys, I've uh, evaluated the squad and this is what I've come up with in terms of the tiers. So uh, in Crucial, we have Fernandez, Sancho, Rashford and De Gea. We also have first team, uh, we have the Varane, we have the French connection with Varane, Martial, Schermeni, Van der Beek. We also have Anasio and Tomori. Rotational, we're going to have Wamba Saka, uh, Pedenz, Luke Shaw, uh, Delo, Dano and Johnston. Uh, the backup brigade for next season will be Lindelof, but if someone does bid for him, I will accept it. Uh, McTomney, Diallo, Alanga and Shoture, who I may loan out again for one more season. Twanzibi, Matt Turner and Tom Heaton. Uh, Splift, we have Pogba. Yeah, this guy, I need to sell him. I want him gone. Uh, not because he's played bad, I just want to move my team on and change the identity up. Also, I want to bring in a different kind of midfielder next season as well. Medjbri, he was terrible. Mengi, he hasn't developed enough. Uh, Bernard, he's not developed enough either. He wasn't exactly terrible though. Jimmy Garner, I'm, I've got too many good players that are coming through the ranks in his position. He's 22 now, his overall 74. So yeah, he's just not going to make the cut next season. And Pellistri, I'll probably use him as a makeway for a winger. Maybe use him in a, in a swap deal potentially. So yeah, he wasn't exactly terrible either. It's just that I have no use for him. So moving on to this next part, which is going to be the end of season accolades. I'm going to start off with the player of the season and I've picked Jaden Sancho and I'm pretty sure you guys will probably pick him as well. Even EA picked him for player of the year. He ended the season with 48 appearances, 24 goals, 30 assists and a 7.20 average. So that's 54 goal involvements over 48 games. So the signing of the season is Shuemeni. I signed him for Monaco. He had uh, 51 appearances this season, two goals, three assists and a 7.0 7, uh, 7 average. Uh, the breakout star this season was Oliver Johnson. Uh, he ended the season with 27 appearances, five goals, and four assists. With nine, that's nine goal involvements with a 6.60 average. So with Diallo, he was loaned out to Sevilla. They end up finishing second, and look how much he's grown in his loan at Sevilla as well. It has NA NA because for some reason we can't track. Uh, players that are loaned out in other leagues you don't get to see the statistics which is quite stupid it is a next gen game and it just feels old so now it's time to check the league tables in other leagues so i'm going to start with, with la liga real madrid ended up winning the league with 87 points second place was Sevilla. they're not too far behind they were only three points behind them with 84 atletico madrid failed to retain their title uh, they've got top four so the villa real Barcelona finished sixth as well with 67 points, so that's a new low for them. Uh, Juventus ended up winning the Scudetto. Uh, Roma was second with 84 points. Ace Milan at Atlanta made it into the top four. Uh, Inter Milan just missed out by one point. Uh, PSG obviously won league earn, so we're not really going to go into that. That's a poor and last league. They need to try something different there. They need a new financial takeover so someone else can dominate that league. So Bayern Munich are back on top in Germany. Much and Gladbach finished second. Uh, we also have a Borussia Dortmund at third place. Leverkusen at fourth. So they don't really need the Europa League spot. So I wonder how that's going to work. Who's going to end up taking their place in Europa League now that they've got Champions League down packed. So uh, elsewhere, uh, FA Cup went to Manchester City. Barnsley lost 3-1 to them. I'm quite surprised Barnsley made it that far. So uh, they deserve a pat on the back for that. Well done to them. Uh, FA, uh, sorry, not FA Cup. Carabao Cup went to Arsenal, so they won it two years in a row. They defeated Norwich 2 0, so it looks like they're going to be dominating that trophy. We ended up beating Real Betis earlier on in the season for the Super Cup. We beat them 3 0, so you guys were, were privy to that. We also won Champions League, uh, you saw that in this video. We won on penalties 4 2, and we drew 3 3 in normal time. Uh, also Europa League went to Tottenham Hotspur, I think we already covered that already, they won 4-0 against OG Nice and uh, yeah as we already know uh, Leverkusen got the ECL, so yeah at this point I'm just repeating things, sorry about that. So we finished the season on top of our table, only drawing 6 games and losing 2, we won 30 games in total giving us 96 points, we ran away with the title, we were like 13 points clear of Manchester City who were second, they had 83 points on the table. Uh, Tottenham uh, managed to finish third with 71 points. 
and uh, Chelsea pipped Liverpool to top four with 66 points and Liverpool finished fifth place with 64 points. So yeah, they've just missed out on Champions League. They're going to be in Europa League with uh, Everton and Arsenal are going to be in ECL, which is quite unfortunate for the Gunners. So let's talk a bit about the teams that are demoted now. So Newcastle, they ended up finishing 18th with 27 points and a minus 23 goal difference. Uh, 19th place is Sheffield United with minus 31 goal difference. They had 25 points on the table. 20th place, we have Blackburn Rovers who ended the season with 16 points and minus 44. So yeah, Southampton were miles away from Newcastle. They had 41 points. Also, in the Championship, Brighton are promoted automatically. They won the league with 108 points. Brentford have been promoted automatically because they finished second. And another annoying thing to mention is that we don't even get to see who's going through to the playoffs until we go into the next season. So that's another thing EA need to add into the next game. So now we've updated the trophy cabinet. We have two league titles to our name. Only one FA Cup as we did get knocked out in the sixth round. Uh, we still don't have a Carabao Cup. We need to fix up there. We still have only one Community Shield because we haven't played that one yet. Same with the Euro, uh, UEFA Super Cup. We haven't played that yet. But we have bagged a second Champions League. So our trophy cabinet is growing. I do want it to grow some more. Uh, so next season, yeah, we're going we're gonna to have to go into the market and uh, bolster the squad just so we can hit the quadruple. That's my next target, hitting the quadruple or the treble again. Okay, so good things always come to an end, but not always permanently. So yeah, we've come to the end of the season. If uh, you enjoyed the series, remember to drop a like. Uh, also, drop some comments below. Let me know what you think of our performance overall this season. Let me know what you think of that Champions League performance. Was I a bit too harsh on my squad? Or was I just about right? Are my players letting me down left, right and centre? Uh, also, let me know who you think your player of the year would have been, who your sign of the season would have been, who your breakout star would have been and who is one to watch because you guys have seen the players that are out on loan, you've seen who's developed the most as well so you guys have just as much to say as I do but yeah those were just my personal verdicts of the season. Okay so I may take a bit of a break from this game because I don't want to suffer burnout as you can already tell from this episode itself. There's a lot of tension growing between me and my players. My players are not playing exactly how I like them to play and it's getting really frustrated as the days go by. Uh, but yeah, I will do a season three and uh, they'll, I definitely will come back with vengeance because there's a lot of things that I need to get off my chest because yeah, I just don't like the way we ended the season the way we played. But yeah, uh, hit the notification bell uh, just so you're notified when I upload another video and also... Um, yeah, I hope to see you in Season 3 and I hope you've enjoyed the series so far. Goodbye for now.